Yes, over 6,000 of these sets have been spoken for. So. I, I get on my soapbox for two reasons. Number one, I'm Jesus. really passionate about this, and number two, I'm taller when I stand on a soapbox. <laughs> I, I, he, these guys are you never share the soapboxes. <laughs> I'll share my soapbox. Uh, these guys are, are master gardeners. I'm a farmer, and it drives me nuts as someone who grows food that the food we get in our grocery stores is not the best food mm. available. No. Our, market, nuts? Marketing has become an important factor on taking good food away from you. Strawberries grown in America. Look how juicy these are. For commercial growth. I mean, are you kidding me? There we go. Yeah, it's full of juice, full of sweetness. One of the varieties, Dan, is called Sweet Delise. Mm -hmm. So they bred it for sweetness, sugar content. The other one is called Ruby and Ruby because of the red fruit, but also the red flowers. The only red flowering strawberry. I was gonna say, I've never seen strawberries with a red flower. Mm -hmm. In America. The strawberries that are grown for commercial production, and the tomatoes, by the way, are grown first and foremost with a hardy skin so that they can withstand automated picking and shipping. That doesn't have a thing to do with how they taste. No. That's they look good. Yeah. That's they look, you go to the, you, and, but you, open, you cut them open and they're white. Yeah. It's and like, they, what happened to all this and they sugar get, and they, the, really, the, the, the juice? They tend to be tangy, <laughs> which a good strawberry is. very disappointing. Tang. So I, I said earlier, you know how sugar gets ripe, how it gets the sugar content in the strawberry? By hanging on the vine. By hanging on the vine. So what we do in America is we cut them before they're ripe and we package them, stick them in the warehouses and they gas them and make them red. So they're ripening in the box. Right. And you're going to get how much fruit are we going to get in this collection? You're getting six plants. Six plants. Each plant three produces. Each one of the two varieties. Yes, and each plant produces. Are you ready? Yeah. Unlike regular strawberries. No, oh, yeah. I, I this is, this is nuts. Strawberries normally in America, you get one crop. Yeah. And it happens around June. Around June. June. And, and then you're done. And you're done. These bloom with strawberries three, three crops. different times a yes. year. Yes, triple your yields. You can get two pounds of strawberries of each per plant. plant. And you're getting six plants in this collection, Dan. That's easy math, 12 pounds of strawberries. Yeah. So again, I don't know what that would cost you in the store, but you can't even buy these varieties, these tasty gourmet strawberries. Uh, these strawberries come from overseas, mm -hmm. uh, and they should. I mean, uh, it, in an area of the world where they're still very, very conscious about what they put in their mouths. Uh, your kids will love these. I've got a, an 18-month-old granddaughter, and I can't wait to garden with her. The nice, and to, and yeah. to, for her to start understanding that what you put in the ground is what you put in your mouth. But what I love about these is not putting them in the ground, put them in containers. Oh, that's right. That's because right. these are all container Strawberries plants. will tend to get slugs and other bugs when you plant them in the ground. Yep. So they designed these in Holland to grow in containers. So they'll take a smaller space, but they produce three times the amount of your normal strawberries that bloom up and that, that produce in June. Hmm. Then your June bearing so berry. I, I'm getting older. <laughs> instead, of, instead of having to get on my hands and knees yes. and plant, now hanging I, can, basket. I can put these in hanging baskets mm -hmm. or I can put them on a tabletop and grow them. Now we started today with 10,000 sets of, of, of six. We have 3,000 left. They will be gone today. Now here's another story and I pick on these guys and I love you dearly. The cost <laughs> of gasoline. Do you have any idea what the cost of gasoline is going to be a year from now? No. I have no clue. But they're offering you an auto delivery program because when you when you get these at home, Look how and juicy. in June when you bite into your first strawberries, oh. and they are the best strawberries you've ever had. You're going to want them again. You are going to want them again. Now here's the best part. You're going to get them again because they will grow from these same plants a second time in the summer. And then when it starts to be late fall, when you're already thinking and starting to get bummed out about how Halloween's over, coming up and yeah, it's going to get <laughs> cold soon. You're going to have your third crop of strawberries. Yep. They're offering us an auto delivery program that tonight, and th this will be gone tonight. Oh, over good. 7,000 yeah. of these spoken for, 3,000 well, are you're left. lucky to get these. I mean, they're hard to find varieties. You call us tonight and say, yes, I want these, but put my name on the list and next year in the spring, Charge me the exact same twenty-seven dollars and eighty-four cents. That's this one-day only thing. Yep, that's a good deal. It is that's a heck of a deal. And next year, send them to me again with free shipping and handling. Because you're probably not. You're, you said these will sell out in one day today. Absolutely. Okay, so I, next sure. year, what's the chances you're at homes and you're going to catch it? Well, that's it, why I like the auto delivery. These come from Holland, uh, mm -hmm. and again, I, I mentioned gasoline because. I have no idea what the cost of gas is going to be next year. These have to be shipped 
from Holland. If the cost of gasoline goes extraordinarily high, these guys are going to lose money. I'm next stuck year. in that price. Yeah, you're going to get it so for that price. That's by the that's way, that's what QVC says. That's, that's what I got to do. That's why. <laughs> that's why Eric doesn't do a lot of auto deliveries. <laughs> no, we don't. But I think this is the best. And the edibles, whenever we like your Meyer lemon trees, yes. they sell out every single year. And we had the, vet, the yep. we had the tomatoes, the cherry tomatoes. Sold out. Oh yeah, it's all gone. And, but, and it's worth. It's eating fresh. You're not spraying stuff on this. You know what's on it. You're picking it out of your, off your patio or your deck or your balcony. Eating fresh is the best way to go. And you I, get so much. I love Mother Nature. And believe me, I love my flowers. But you don't get a waistline like this <laughs> <laughs> by not enjoying the edibles. And it's to sit on your back deck. And it doesn't, you don't have to have an acre of land. You don't have to have a patch of dirt. I, I, you can I be can't a, look at this anymore. In a high rise apartment <laughs> building and all you need are six pots. So again, pardon the, the preachiness. This but is nice, huh? You eat, I'll talk. Thank you. Uh, regular strawberries, and this is true mm. for tomatoes again. If they are bred and grown mm. here in America, for commercial purposes, they are not bred for the sweetness. They're not bred for the flavor. They're bred for a thicker, tougher skin. That can be picked by machine. Yep, and then and then withstand transportation Shelf life. and trust. Shelf life is what's, what everybody cares about, about supermarket produce. Shelf life. That's why heirloom tomatoes are hard to get. Yeah. These, tom these, these are not bred for shelf life. They're bred for flavor. That's, and they're award winners. All Americans select the, only, the first and only strawberry to win that award in 2016, last year, mm -hmm. because it grows anywhere in the country, and it produces so much, and the flavor is so sweet. Strawberry plants usually produce one crop. These produce three. Yeah. Again, in summertime, when you're really you're looking for when it. When you expect it. About, about June. Yeah. Then about midsummer, and then again in late, late fall, fall, you get a third crop. I had never seen a strawberry plant. In fact, I thought you were kidding me. I had never. <laughs> what's the what's the color of flowers on a strawberry plant? Anybody who's ever grown a strawberry plant? They're, they're always they're white. white. Yeah, they're always white. Well, you're going to get a variety with a white flower, but can you you're, hold that up? Yeah. You're That's also, a red flowered strawberry. Yeah, you're also going to get. And that is the sweetest. Ruby Ann. And Ruby's giving you a producer a little fruit down here already. But this is how you're coming to you. They're going to come to you, these potted plants, with fruit or flowers or both. So as opposed to going and getting bare roots right, right, right. Or, or seeds, You've got they, they, will, plants. they will produce next year. Yep. These are going to produce this year two pounds per plant. <laughs> and you get six plants. I can eat that much. Heck yeah. Not a problem. Uh, and by the way, this is real, why I think it's really cool is because you've got two different varieties. You can taste the difference between each one of these varieties. So when you think strawberry, we all conjure up an image of what strawberries taste like. Mm -hmm. But I'll tell you what, th there is a stark difference. Oh yeah. A little sweeter with the Definitely. red flower. I can tell I can tell a difference and they're they're not the little itty bitty ones and they're not the big old jumbo mumbo you know right, massive right, right. ones yeah so you're, it's a medium sized strawberry which is perfect you can use them for everything cereals fresh um, here we put them on the yep. we dipped them in chocolate um, yeah I had one the of those. tart down there how about a spinach salad some fresh That's, strawberries on that. that that would actually make a salad eatable. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you might have one well, once my, in a while. My, my theory is, you know, <laughs> vegetables aren't food. Vegetables are what food eats. <laughs> it's got to have legs, man. It's got to have legs. But no, this, this is great. the epitome of what summer tastes like. Uh, I'm going to be, this is the last warning on this one. We brought in 10,000 sets. Both of these varieties of strawberries are from Holland. Mm -hmm. Now, out of that 10,000 sets, we have eight hundred remaining. This price is only in effect for one day only. $27.84. Most of you have attached yourself to what we call the auto delivery that says at this exact same one day low price. Next year, next year we will ship you again six of the same plants with free shipping and handling. That's regardless of what happens to the cost of, of gasoline, the That's cost true. of transportation. Free and shipping these, and the one day price. These are That's established great... plants. Mm -hmm. If I wanted to grow strawberries for my little granddaughter, and I wanted to do it this year, I won't get strawberries until next year. You know what else Here, happens? Here, I'll have them what? Yeah. three times this year. Around June. June. About midsummer. Uh, midsummer, and then late, late fall. fall. Yep. But you know the other thing that with strawberries, because I, I have strawberries in the, in the ground, I planted them for years ago. Years ago, yep. And I hardly, if I go out there, yeah, they're on the ground. 
there are slugs, there are problems, but freaking birds. Oh yeah. Man, they when having this on your deck, <laughs> you know, it's yeah. they're, they're they're not gonna come up right up to where you're sitting area to your house. Oh, that's not, not, that, that's you know, not a bad they idea. leave them alone. Yeah, good point. Mm -hmm. Well, so. you know, birds aren't dumb. <laughs> they get it. <laughs> no. So did, by the way, did anybody prove me right or wrong on that on my seed comment? You're right. Wait, 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 say that again. Because those are words I never hear at home. Mr. Dan <laughs> Hughes was right. It's uh, the only strawberry fruit. Strawberry is the only fruit that has its seeds on the outside. Hey, you know what? Last summer never I never saw a single mosquito. Me a trivial pursuit. Did you know why? Because of that. No, because they're all married. <laughs> <laughs> you put this with your. Uh, okay, that makes me mad that I laughed at that. <laughs> put this in your garden, folks. It's the uh, citronella. This is awesome. Geranium. Keeps the mosquitoes away. Yeah, it keeps it. It's like so a bad. force field. For all right. <laughs> I love you guys. Love you too. You are the best. Court, Eric, Devin. Uh, three of the 700 Walleen brothers. It's uh -huh. an amazing thing. Uh, now wait, Anna, get in here. Yeah. And hey, we're not going to ship your plants were early. We, were you ashamed to be seen? <laughs> get in there, Anna. What it was? She's earning money for law school. <laughs> get in there. Get to work. So hey, look where you live. Match where your your color to that box in the bottom left. That's the week we're going to ship to you. Uh, and they guarantee happiness. Uh, who does that nowadays? No, if you have any issues, we're going to take care of them. We give, give you a replacement warranty one year on our perennials, <laughs> 90 days for our annual and tropical plants. So if you have any issues, you get a hold of us and you'll have no more issues. Don't hide behind that plant. <laughs> uh, thank you, gentlemen. Thank and, you. And for the rest of the Walling family, thank this you. is a family owned and operated business out of, of central Indiana, which is my, my home area. Uh, you are passionate about what you do. You are extraordinarily talented. Uh, you guys Thank are like you. family. Thank and you. And your pleasure. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Amy Strand is standing Amy. by. Amy, good afternoon. How are you? I'm doing well, Dan, and my night just got better thanks Yay. to this lovely lady next to me. So if you haven't heard, today we are really celebrating a day of finds, meaning our most popular brands. And this is Jamie Kern Lima. She represents, because she is the creator and the developer of It Cosmetics, she's standing here representing one of our most popular lines of beauty. And since it's a day about favorites, well, we've got a customer favorite today, special value to get to in this yes. two hour show. Yes, yes. Um, we've got an item that I swear